It all started in Venice in the late 60s, back when we weren't sure if we'd win the space race. Some rusky had just done the first spacewalk. Then the surveyor, the first lunar soft lander was launched, which brought the Luna Stone down to Earth. Back then, nobody really knew just how far out that rock was. Guess that's why they let the Europeans stick it in a museum. All of San Francisco was buzzing about it. We'd even found a potential buyer. When we asked Don Cesare to fund our highs, honey, he couldn't cut the check fast enough. Back then, there were still six of us. Murray's plan seemed airtight. That cat had thought of every detail. Basically, everything in Venice had gone according to plan. For Murray, anyhow. Welcome to Venice, guys. Welcome to the Fondaco de Marachini. I hope you had a good flight. Food could have been better. Murray, before we get the Luna Stone, give us some time to get oriented. Wasn't so bad. I've had just about 
got enough of your little game. Okay, I'm letting you out, Cleo. Just head through the open doors. Seriously, what are you up to, Murray? Hurry up, honey. I've been waiting here long enough. Come on, girls, don't fight. The coast is clear, so let's get upstairs. kinds of cameras before. Very funny, Murray. I thought you were going to deactivate the camera. Come on. It's just more fun with a little risk. You guys need to work on your coordination. Timing ain't just a restaurant in Chinatown, you know? Ah, uh, yes. Just like the Carson City job in 63. First time we worked together. How could I forget? That job was more a question of patience for me. When's it my turn to do something, oh great mastermind? All in due time, honey. The path is clear. There's no need to rush.
in position. See, that worked. Save it, Murray. I can see two crowbars. Knock yourself out, buddy. Can't even leave their room. Hey, are you gonna just leave me here? Don't worry, Cleopatra. Now it's your time to shine. I could do it. Great, Rocket. Are you done acting like children? Stick to the plan, dammit. One more switch. And you're there. There are guards waiting right behind that door. Are we just going to stand here, or are we going to bag the loot? Murray, are you sure everything's going according to plan? I have a bad feeling about this. My God, act like a bunch of babies, why don't you?
I've had enough of this so-called. Aha, gotcha. Oh, Murray had totally screwed us over. Chazara bailed us out and we even found a way to pay him back. But after Venice, the team fell apart. And without a team, we had no chance to ever pull off the big jobs again. I suppose this is exactly what Murray had in store for us. No more sharing with anyone. Especially not the Luna Stone. Lobkowitz fell off the face of the earth. We didn't hear a peep from him for years. Rufus and Rocket, the Rawlings siblings, went back to professional wrestling. All they really got out of it was bumps and bruises. Bishop founded an environmental group and dedicated his life to saving the planet. We'd occasionally do jobs together, but it wasn't the same. There were rumors that Murray had slimed his way into circles of people with power and influence. But no one really knew where that rat was hiding. Five years later, the Luna Stone was on exhibit again. In San Francisco, right in front of our faces. Accident or not, Bishop and I agreed that Murray would try to make off with the stone again. This time, he needed to pay for what he did to the crew. This time, the Luna Stone would be ours. And Don Cesare was ready with intel for step one of the plan. The first plan of attack starts at Ringo Flamingo's villa. He owns a club and is buddies with Murray. Ringo Flamingo? <laughs> what kind of name is that? Somebody who hires a gunman to guard his house. Somebody who beats people down that look at him fun. Murray's planning a Vincent Bodega. He's gonna break into the museum and swap the rock for a replica. We want that replica, you dig? We sneak past the guards, head upstairs, and bag the rock. Flamingo still owes me a lot of dough. He won't go blabbing to Murray, trust me. Flamingo's villa has two floors. Guess we'll have to knock out a few guards on the way. We'll need chloroform. Flamingo keeps some in his shed. These doors here are protected by a switch system. Keep in mind that we'll need to find the right switch to open them. These here are a piece of cake, but the switches can get real complicated real quick. We do know that there's a key to the security doors. We can't leave without it. Another door with a switch? Flamingo's paranoid, man. When you use a dun downstairs, head upstairs via the staircase on the first floor. He had a new vault put in. I'd bet my part of the cut that the fake's in there. Just one simple switch between us and the replica. Be careful not to lock yourselves in. Don't forget the strong box in the music room. There could be some real dough in it. The getaway will be easy. Just turn around and head out the way you came in. Any questions? Nope. Let's go.
What is the plan? Ready when you are. Yes. Ready to serve. Flamingo's private room. Murray's replica of the Luna Stone must be behind that door.
What are you doing here? Here I thought it was a guard sneaking around out there. <laughs> what a bummer that the door shut behind me, huh? You got the replica? I bet Rocket that I could steal the Luna Stone all by myself. Whether she believes it or not, I get along just fine without my sister. So yeah, now I got this here fake gem. What? Don't look at me like that. I was here first, so I get to keep it. Can you at least wait for us outside? No problemo. Got a lock to pick? Let's be real, honey. You broke into Flamingo's villa and stole the replica so you could swap it for the real Luna Stone. A Vincent Bodega. Plain and simple. Rufus, we need that replica. Murray is back, and he wants to steal the Luna Stone from the Museum of Modern Art, just like in Venice. Yeah, Venice. But can we get the drop on him? Retaliate. You understand? I'm starting to. Sounds like we want the same thing. So? A bet is a bet. Rocket has to know that I stole the Luna Stone all by myself, without any help. But if you absolutely insist, you can help me get that uh, thingamabob. Got it. So, we get to keep that thingamabob if we help you, right? Don't tell Rocket that you had anything to do with this, okay? Deal. Deal. 